hi this is a car dealer system developed earlier so let me show you how it works so if I select all of those accessories and drop this down to select the type of car that I want and that's the price of the site type of car and supposing I intend to trade in my old car with 50,000 mileage that's what I get off I get approximately 5,000 pounds off and right here so you can always check out the speed at which the mileage at which the system the car runs so let's go for about let's say 5,000 here yeah, why not and you just convert it so that will give you 5,000 miles or 50,000 miles actually so that will give you approximately 31,000 miles so that's what it's converted to supposing this car cruises at maybe or covers or the distance cover is uh, 31,000 plus we just want to find out uh, maybe at what speed was this car actually going so let's enter that and just there so let's assume that's time covered so that's the car I intend to buy and uh, I just need to enter my name there so so right here address let's just say London Road and postcode okay L90 and telephone number all right so all I just need to now do is click on total there those are all my information so that I can use that for my car so if I want this one printed I can always print it out all right so what I'll do next is take you guys straight into Java net bean where we will develop one together it seems to be a very long tutorial but for those who have project coming this will help let's go into Java net bean now hi and welcome to Java net bean tutorial in this session I'll be developing a car dealer system so let's start by selecting new project and right there make sure java and java application is selected click on next right there give it a name so i'm going to call it car dealer and the class main class i'm going to uncheck that and click on finish right there i have my car dealer project there so right click on it and select new and select J frame there and the J frame I call it car dealers and right here just call that car underscore s car dealer underscore s or maybe let's just go for car underscore dealer and click on finish there and that is my frame coming up right there that's my frame okay so the next thing i want to do now is as follows let's just minimize this so i will have enough room to walk go to the property and the property i want to set my preferred size so the preferred size in this case i want to go for approximately that will be 1370 so let's enter that in there by 700 so that's my preferred size okay so I still need an area to work so if I let's say I decide to compile and run let's see what will happen with my set preferred size and there that's my preferred size which is 1300 370 by 700 so that's my preferred size there but I also need an area to walk so I might as well just drag this along okay you take it down a little bit more all right that's that, that will do hopefully I should be able to walk in that area all right the next thing I'm going to do now is let's go to the palette right there and in the palette 
Uh, before that, let's right click on this frame and go to set layer or set layout instead of uh, free design. I might as well go for let's go for absolute layer there. Now I have my absolute layer set, although you guys won't be able to see it. But uh, if I decide to let's see, I want to add a frame. Okay, that's my frame right there. I can then position my frame in, in any way I want it. And that's my frame there. If you notice, you will notice some dotted marks, lines on my frames. That's because I have an absolute layer there. And the next thing I'll do with this frame is let's set the border. Okay, let's set the border to, let's make that 8, why not? Yeah, that's the border for the frame and should i even enter an absolute layer on this frame as well okay this frame itself also has an absolute layer so let's copy it all right that's my frame there i may have one more i don't know let's see okay i've only copied one all right that's it there and i have two there so let's go for maybe one more or a couple more actually and this is how the layer is looking right now the screen is looking now so the next thing is uh, then maybe i should add one more layer here so let's just copy that control c and just paste it and uh, drag it down right there and just pull it down there take this up a little bit so if i run my program now let me just compile and run and that's how the interface look right now so what i'm gonna do now is uh, i might as well just close that and start with the design of this program so let's let's go for this palette and get some combo box in we need two combo box one here i need another one Another combo box here. Move this down a little bit, and we need a label. One label here, and another label right here. Okay. We will need some more labels. So, oh. let's come here and just add a label. I'm just control copy that another label here so that will be the title and this will be for output okay now the next thing is let's get checkbox I need one control B control control D another control D I've got four of those there and I think we need two more of those just Maybe move this here, just control D, move this back there and this back here, bring this down and here control D again. Right, I think I have six there now. Okay, I also need another, let's go for combo box. I need one more here, one combo box here. I will need a text box or text field in this case text field label and two buttons one control B2 control D really sorry all right now we need some buttons here so I need one one button control D another one control D so I've got three buttons here well those are like my component in place or and I also need a label before I start naming them control D to those then one label right up here right here label 
now we need a text field control D another this very area with this very panel right there okay so I'll just save that let's run it and see how the whole interface look now okay run that that's how the interface is looking now as you can see there's an error here I need to just move this up a little bit and we just need to tidy things up and I'll get back to you guys let's move this up first okay save that okay I've finished the design of the interface I even have a label there that I call a car dealer system and this is how the whole system is looking like all I just need to do now is to finish up with the design of that middle bit that we didn't add anything so let's do that now there we go so that is how that middle bit is looking but instead of adding convert here because I intend to use this to calculate the mileage and this is meant to calculate the speed distance and time so let's change all of this instead of saying let's change one of these to compute instead of convert so so let's just go for compute yeah that's cool now what is left is if I come here I intend to add different cars here and uh, so on so here is supposed to be the trading car with the trading car we're going to be judging the trading car by the mileage on the clock so let's see if we can do that and then let's move this in a little bit 